The Indo-Pacific has become the epicenter of geopolitical competition due to the growth of the Asian economies and specifically the rise of the People's Republic of China. Consequently, the Sino-American rivalry has intensified as China has become more assertive towards its neighbors and has vastly expanded its military capabilities. In the meantime, the US looks to maintain its hegemony in the region by expanding the partnerships and frameworks it has there. These include the Quad with Japan, Australia and India, and the AUKUS with Australia and the UK. We expect the struggle over Asia's future to define the 21st century, like the struggle over Europe defined the 20th century. Europeans have also turned towards the Indo-Pacific. The European and Asian economies are connected by water, and therefore open and free, secure maritime routes are essential to European prosperity. Therefore, France, the UK, Germany and the Netherlands, as well as other European states, have sent ships over to the region to conduct naval diplomacy missions. Europeans are not alone. They share their preference for a free and open maritime order with partner states across Asia. These include Japan, South Korea, Australia, India and many others. What role Europeans should actually play in the region remains unclear. Europeans do not agree among themselves about the policies to pursue in the region. We therefore need more exchanges among policymakers and experts. The HESS Europe in the Indo-Pacific Hub facilitates exactly these kind of exchanges, bringing together scholars, experts, practitioners, business representatives and journalists across Europe, Asia, as well as other states like the US to discuss these issues. The HESS Europe in the Indo-Pacific Hub has four key activities. It publishes research reports, it reacts to current affairs, it organizes public events, as well as private workshops. Through these activities, we look to understand what role Europe can play in the Indo-Pacific, the key geopolitical region of the 21st century.